let me tell you how a woman give me a sore foot for my own business. Yes, my fans, it is your boy Bunny again coming to have another little talk with you. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is how a woman give me a sore foot back in the 80s for my own business. So, tune in, sit, and listen. This is not a story. This is something that happened to me in the 80s. So, how this happened? I used to have a strive in business back in Jamaica. It was a cook shop and it was on South Camp Road across the road from Motor Sales right on the pavement. There's a school there and I used to have a little cook shop there where I used to sell fried dumpling, um, box juice, box milk, sky juice, name it. It's like a cook shop I used to have there. And there's a lady used to sell at the school gate, sell sweeties and cheese chips and stuff like that at the school gate. Same place there. And what happened? The, the school gate was literally, it's not was the main gate, it's like a small gate there. Because the school was on the other side of the road, I think Elliston Road side. But the school was on, small gate was on Eli, um, South Camp Road. So we park up there, but my, most of my business was from motor sales because I used to sell lunch and breakfast to the people that were work in a motor sales car showroom and pass by. So morning time, sometime morning time, I may fry all one bag of caramel, two bag of flour, two bunch of colored of cabbage, name it, as a cook shop I run. So sometime when I'm gonna go out to buy things because it becomes like friend with the lady. I would ask her to give a high on the business while I go out and come back. So you know we like build up like a not a not relationship but close friend. So it happened that um my business I tell you my business was so successful. I was doing so good with my business. So one day I come up, come to the business and I find that the side of my foot was scratching me and I scratch, I just scratch the spot on the side of my foot that was scratching me and never take it anyway and it carry on and this little scratch come up into like a little bump and it bursts on the side of my foot so this thing come out now where it come out into like a sore and all I'm dressing this little sore this little sore wouldn't go. It wouldn't go. So this sore come out now so big in a way that it was a bit hard for me you now to run the cook shop because I'm handling food. And because I'm handling food and I have this sore on, on the side of my foot, it start to cause a problem because it's not something that I can hide because it's way down on the ankle of my foot. So my foot has been plastered now, wrap up in dressing, and people will see me you now and I can't handle this food shop now and I have not have anybody to, to run the food shop. So I have to like now ask this woman to help me a lot in the food shop now. So one day somebody come to me and said to me, this foot don't look proper, something funny about this foot. So somebody said to me, there is a man in... um." Alman Town, who can help you to get the foot better. So, no, me personally, I never believe in um, these type of things because I'm not one of them person who forgot to hobby a man and things like that. So, I never believe in these type of things. But anyway, because it's my business and I want to look after my business, I let me go and see the man. So, when I went to see this man in Alman Town, the man tell me that he can't help me. Because the person who give me the foot 
a him the person come to. So he can reverse it. <laughs> that is when now I tend to believe that is somebody who give me this foot for truth. Now it turned out to be now that the person who go to the man, it have to be the lady who close to me because I don't have anybody else with me and them in any argument or I don't have anybody where I could think of that will do something like this. Because this lady live in Alman Town, the man live in Alman Town, so they are close. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. So what happened now? This foot is getting bad. I can't get this foot to get better. And it carry on and carry on and carry on until somebody tell me about a lady of a puppy in Kentaya. So I decided to go and see this lady, a puppy in Kentaya. And I went to puppy in to see this lady. And when I go to the lady and she look at my foot, the state of my foot is like it almost taking fly. That's how bad my foot is. My, it, it, the cut was as big as I would say like um, a 10p. That's how big the cut was. And it red. It red. And all the lady said to me, she said to me, I must go to the sea. Go to the sea and soak my foot in the water. Soak it in the salt water at the sea. For three day, I think three day in a row. The cut gonna be like when I come out of the salt water, it's gonna be dry. There's like a scab gonna farm on it. I mustn't pick the scab off. So for three, I think it's, I can't remember if it's three day or seven days. I can't remember if it's three or seven days. <clears throat> it's a long time. So anyway. I've been going to the sea every day for that amount of time, what she tell me. And every day I go to the seaside and soak my foot in the water. And when I come out of the water, the cut will red. <clears throat> my fans, I'm not lying to you. The cut will look almost like that. It's, it's almost red. <clears throat> so, I will um, go home and that cut will be the scab that it farm, the dry scab that salt water farm on it, it make a kind of flesh back over the cut. So in that period of time where it go there, it farm a skin over it, like um plaster. Because I'm not supposed to dress it. I'm not supposed to put no dressing on it. I have to leave it open for that time. And I'm telling you, every time that I go there and I soak it in water, that skin will drop off it will drop off the salt water that soak it will drop off but what happened is like it farming back a, f um, a flesh over the sewer and in that period of time where every day i go the skin that farm drop off and a new skin farm it eventually heal back heal back the sewer if i never have my socks now i would literally show the, the, the mark and it leave a black mark on the side of my foot I'll do it ill and that's how I get that sore ill so my fans I'm telling you there is wicked people out there and the reason why I'm doing this video I watch something on YouTube where a guy talk about he meet this Obia woman and the interviewer and I sit there and I'm watching this video and some things start to come back to me you know sometime in life sometime in life things happen and we take them for granted but your best friend can be your worst enemy your best best friend can be your worst enemy sometimes your own family who you think is a family they can be your enemy so the people you think close to you, those sometimes are not the person who are close to you.
And sometimes the people are far from you, those are the people that are close to you. So, you know, we need to open our eyes and be wise. So as I'm talking about this lady, the business now, what happened? It worked out where the Jamaica government council, they was going around at night time and break up the people, them stall off of the pavement. They start from downtown, they come through crossroad, half a tree. And if anybody can remember this time, back in the 80s, where the government was using bulldozer at night and drive around and mash up people and cat people look could stall with them off on the pavement and all of these things and dump them in a the dumper truck and carry them away. That's how my stall end up. So the woman never get the business. So although she's the one who cast this for me, but the biz, the government is the one who come overnight and blows around all of these things and take them in a truck and gone with them. The business die. She never get it. So, you know, I'm saying to you, my fans out there, my friends, my visitors, you're watching this video and you're listening to me. Let us show love to one another. Let us not be greedy to with one another. Because God put us all on this earth for a reason. So let us show love to one another and not hate and bad mind and criticize one another. Because whatever we have on this earth, we can't carry it going anywhere with we. We can't take nothing going anywhere with we. You know? So I'm saying, my fans, my viewers, remember, like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel. I have enough things to tell you. You know, I remember I was um, learning trade in um, Seafood St. Thomas. I'm sure Willie, Willie probably alive now. I used to learn trade with a guy called Willie at Seafood St. Thomas. And it was Willie birthday. And it would kill a goat for Willie birthday. And I tell you, I can tell you right now, I remember when the goat kill. I remember when the fire catch up. And I remember when the pot go on by the fire. But I don't know nothing again. I can't tell you nothing more again. Until the next morning, I wake up in a whole car. So for the whole night, if you speak to Willie, Willie probably can remember this. Yeah? C4 Center Mass. It, I was there helping out and I was drinking a Red Stripe beer. And somebody threw something in my drink. I don't know what they put in my drink. But they ledged my drink. I was knocked out. I never know nothing. Until the next day. When I wake up in a whole car. Filth down my trousers. I was weak. I could only drag myself to the riverside. Take off my clothes. Chomp them out. And spread them out over sea, Seafood Riverside. Until they dry. And put them back on. So there, there's evil people out there. I don't know why people are so wicked and evil. I don't know why people are so wicked and evil. But I don't believe in these things. You know, I can, I tell you, I can give stories and stories about these things. I can give stories and stories. If you want me to talk, I have people who half of me to do things to my car when I'm running taxi. Because my car was not new and I wasn't getting passionate like the rest of the car. And I have a man come to me and say to me, Oh, I can give you this and make you put it into your car. And you would, people would just pass the them car and come into your car. People come to me and tell me these things. I have, I have a man tell me that because my baby mother is giving me a problem, he can do things for me to make she just disappear. There's evil people out there. There is evil people out there. My fans, I just listen. If you want me to tell you a story like this, I can give you a story like this. I know them. I born in Jamaica. I grew in Jamaica. But I, I never get myself involved in these things because they are demonics. They are demonics. I grew up as a child of God. I know 
I know my parents, my, my dad was mixed up in, 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 in some of these things because things that he said to me, I know he was mixed up in it, although he was a Christian. I know. But I'm telling you, my fans, I can tell people about these things because I see it. I used to drive taxi. I care people to hobby a man in St. Mary. I know these things. I know they're real. When I supposed to come to England, somebody tell me to take my passport to the Hobia woman to get them to do something to my passport. That's when I go um immigration, me get through. No, I never do it, but I'm still in England. I'm still in England. My fans, listen. I can talk about these things. It's only because I watched that guy yesterday on YouTube with this mother woman while I touched this story. But I tell you, I know enough things. I have never actually dipped my hand in the, I've never been to Hobby Man for anybody. But I know I drive taxi and I carry people in Jamaica. So remember, like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to touch more story like this, Leave a comment in leave the comments. Let me know what you think about this story and we can talk more about it. So this is a boy bunny. Remember, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you don't miss any video that goes up. So I'm out and I will catch you on the next video. So if you want to hear more, just put leave a comment and let me know. Catch you on the next video. I'm out.